At the maternity units, it is essential to monitor the rates of caesarean sections, taking into account the specific characteristics of the women that they serve. Obstetrical case mix. The Robson system classifies all women delivering in a facility into one of 10 categories that are mutually exclusive and, as a set, totally comprehensive. The categories are based on just a few basic prospective obstetric characteristics that are routinely collected in all maternities. Parity, previous caesarean section, onset of labor, gestation age, fetal presentation, lie, and number of fetuses. This video will show you how you can present the Robson classification of your maternity unit in a single slide using a table with five columns. This standardization is essential to allow faster and easier comparison over time and within units. The first column shows each of the 10 groups and their definitions. An additional row is added to show the women who cannot be classified because information on any of the variables was missing. The second column displays the number of caesarean sections and the number of women classified in each group among all women admitted for birth in the unit. The heading on top shows the totals for the unit. The third column shows the size of each group, that is, the proportion of women admitted for birth that falls in each group. The size of each group is calculated by dividing the number of women in each group by the total number of women admitted for birth in your unit. The fourth column shows the caesarean section rate in each group. It is calculated by dividing the number of caesarean sections in each group by the total number of women in each group. Lastly, the fifth column represents the absolute contribution of each group to the total caesarean section rate in your unit. It is calculated for each group by dividing the number of caesarean sections in each group by the total number of women admitted in your unit. The magnitude of this contribution will depend on both the size of the group and the caesarean section rate in each group. In the example shown in the slide, we see that groups 1, 2, and 5 contribute two-thirds of the caesarean section rate, and they are the source of the largest variation between units. This slide, as constructed, is only the common starting point for further analysis. Each of the 10 groups may be further analyzed by amalgamating some of them, or more commonly, subdividing them further. In addition, further analysis can take place by introducing epidemiological variables into each of the groups, such as age or BMI, or by adding labor events, indications, outcomes, or complications, such as use of oxytocin, neonatal outcome, or massive hemorrhage.